Talking with the experts. In episode 556 with Fiona Robertson, learn how to connect with your clients on a soul level, find innovative solutions and grow your business. And I am a channel for the dragons and they have given me so much information about this particular topic. Dragons are just spiritual guides. So you can say they direct you towards your soul because it's your soul often that gives you the gut instinct or so don't be frightened about that. I'm going to channel dragons. Some people are angels, some people are anything else. But dragons are very, very, very direct. And they've given me a whole way of just being able to just play with it, just use it, just do it, you know, and you can't go wrong. But you have to understand where you trust your information. So the very first thing I would always teach someone is that they get so, so, so sure of what their yes and no is. And they just keep using that on a daily basis so that there's no way that you would deny it. And you you can it's not guidance that you sit there like this. You know, you've got to sit like waiting and get yourself into headspace. Eventually you're able to do it. Oh, I don't know. Should I go left or right? So it's, you know, like you follow your nose. You, you just you just know that you end up in the right place. Talking with the experts. Welcome to Talking with the Experts. This is where we discuss great ideas to take your business to the next level. How do we know these ideas work? Well, it's because we're talking with business owners who are using these ideas. Business owners who have years of experience and expertise. All things business by business owners for business owners. And now, here is your host, Rose Davidson. Hello, welcome to Talking With The Experts. I'm your host, Rose Davidson. Welcome to the podcast My guest today is Fiona Robertson, and she's going to be discussing with us how to grow your business with spiritual guidance. Now, Talking With The Experts is all about business by business owners for business owners, and you can find it on all podcasting, streaming platforms, and on YouTube. And if you like what you hear today, please share and uh, and support the podcast by clicking on any of the links that that are put into the show notes. Now, Fiona is an author, she's a speaker, she's a mentor, and she's a dragon channel expert and creator with guidance. She's a dedicated mother of two boys. She leads a guided life, creating magic wherever she goes. I know that from firsthand because this is not our first radio together. Mm. Her journey took a pivotal turn when she heard a voice asking her if she still wanted to do um, the same things in five years' time prompting her to move to southwest France. This moment changed her trajectory and uh, her soul prompting her to move uh, where she's, you know, living very happily with her family. And she strayed from her purpose of fostering a powerful change on earth. Fiona believes everyone possesses innate skills and potential, often untapped due to a lack of access to the guidance that we all have the capacity to follow. She asserts that our internal world shapes our external reality, and that nothing transforms as swiftly as the physical human body when we alter our internal narrative. Fiona, welcome to Talking With The Experts. It's such a pleasure to have you on again. Thank you very much. Look, you know, it's such a great intro when you hear it. You kind of go, oh, God, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I write that. (laughs) That's what I do. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, when you're talking about stuff like that, you kind of forget you know, when it's about channeling and, and getting guidance, it's just, it seems so out of this world. Um, a lot of people, this is why I love to talk about it, because a lot of people think, well, I couldn't ask for that. I don't know how to do that. Um, so that's what I'm always wanting to share. It's just like, you know, everything has consciousness and you are able, even are able to ask your business, what does it want? And I believe everybody has the power to do that. But we just shut our feelings down a little bit. The, the way that the information comes in is is via the things that we've decided we don't want to feel too much anymore. So, yeah. So how, how can we, you know, how can we trust our guidance and um, to, you know, to help us with our businesses? Well, it's funny because um, you absolutely can. And but as soon as I mean, I speak to a lot of women who are very, very able to sort of go into the Akashic records or spiritual artists, those kind of things. But as soon as it comes to business, they go, it's very serious. It's very sensible. 
we have to do things in a certain way. So um, you can, but it's a question of just remaining playful and remaining to use your, your, your imagination and opening up to your intuition. In other words, we all have the gut instincts. We all have the facility to do that, but we haven't really learned how to get the evidence or to trust that that is what our gut instinct are showing us. So the idea is that we open up to trust ourselves first. In other words, oh, is that guidance coming in? Oh, is, you know, is that a sign? Everything is a sign. Everything is, there's nothing that's a coincidence. So like the health things or the things that happen in your business, for example. Um, so one of the main topics that I talk about is um, if people want to go and look for a higher caliber clientele or a client a caliber clientele that they haven't worked with yet. They're like, oh I, I, oh, I don't know who this ideal client is. I don't, I don't know about them. I can't feel them. I can't understand who they are. Um, so they start doing all the research and they start making up this, this fictional avatar character. Now, with guidance, what you can do is you kind of work out roughly what the traits are and the characteristics are of this person. And then you can just go into your inner space and you ask, what is it that this client wants from me? What can I deliver? Um, where is she or he? Uh, what will they buy? <laughs> what are their key problems? And it's amazing the information that starts feeding back to you. For a long time, I was getting information like, um, she wants her hand held and I'm like, all oh, right, okay, yeah, okay. But you know, interpreting the information that comes back is absolutely a key because what I didn't realize what she wanted her hand held with, yes, getting guidance, but what was I really brilliant at? Allowing someone to feel when they were getting the guidance and helping them discover what their internal language was. So most people kind of go, oh, well, you're clairvoyant, you're clairescent, you're the clair this, clair that. And I'm just like, that's just too vague. It's like, you still don't trust it. So I help people get the evidence. Like if they were in a conversation, I'd say, did you feel that? Because I would say, I can feel what you're feeling. So I would feed that back to you and say, did you see where that landed? Or did you see where that story that you're telling landed? So you're standing in your own way. So then we'd have to work out how to get that bit out of the way. So opening up to your guidance is, is actually very simple, but it is learning just a new language. Um, and it's a language that you've got already, but you didn't realize that you were actually tuned into. Interesting because um, you know, quite often when you, you meet someone for the first time, you know, you get a sense of who they might be. I don't know. Um, you know, whether it's gut instinct or it's your intuition or or whatever, you know, and, you, and most often, you know, you find out that how you perceive that person is often correct. Yeah. Um, and But you can never explain how you knew that. Mm. So one of the best stories that I have regards to being able to feel into someone else's energy, if you can trust someone else's energy, was... Um, I mean, it's kind of business related, but you can use it for business. Absolutely. You could employ someone using this particular method or, you know, reject someone. <laughs> so you would actually have um, and I've done this before I've even met someone. So sometimes it's easier because then you haven't built up a picture in your mind. So I was having some work done on the house and I was getting some people who were coming to decorate the house or finish the plumbing or finish the painting and those kind of things because I was a single mum. And I had two young boys and um, I was like, oh, gosh, workmen in the house. Oh, gosh, I wonder if I can trust them. And because I've done Reiki masters and everything years and years and years ago, I was just like, well, if I can send energy out, surely I can receive energy. I can I can feel it back two ways. So I'm just very playful. There's nothing that you can't do. And I believe everybody has the skill. So um, there was this, you know, there were several people that I'd approached in this HelpX. HelpX is a website that you use where people come and work and stay with you. They do jobs around the house for you and um, you just, you know, feed them dinner and they've got somewhere to stay. And then they carry on traveling and they, you know, they stay with you for a month or a week or whatever. 
anyway, so there was this one chap who was um, saying, I can do everything on your list. You know, like, I'm a professional painter, blah, blah. He came from Australia, by the way. He was a young guy, 25 years old. And I went, all right, I'm going to play with this. So imagine that I'm standing next to this guy and working with him. How do you know, how does he affect my body? How does it affect me? How do I change when he's in the room? You know that if you've got someone who's um, it could be a family member or someone you just think oh, you, you can feel them. Mm-hmm. So I thought, OK, fine. And I went, oh. Nothing changes. Well, I'll just check. I've checked my dial. I'll check the energy. So I said, OK, well, fine. What about if I'm working with my ex and he's in the room? I went, oh, <laughs> yeah, I get that energy come back to me check in with another ex because I've had a few and I went all right he's really laid back all right fine okay checked in with this guy again he was called Sam nothing changed and I'm like so is this guy safe to work with me and I just went oh oh that's my yes response so um I brought him in I went and picked him up he arrived Oh, just the nicest chap ever. You didn't have to change anything. And he would say to me at the end of the day, oh, Fiona, is there anything else that I can do for you before we're going to have a shower and we have dinner? And I was like, okay, I've started to trust the information that's coming back. So then the next guy that I got, I did the same. And he was also really helpful. Then the next guy, I heard the same question, but I could have gone deeper. And he was he was so laid back that it was useless. <laughs> And then the next guy who came to do some work, I was like, oh, well, he's kind of a 50-50 energy. Um, and he was really good at what he did, but it was so messy and so forgetful. I had to really, he kept losing things, like all the stuff that I, all the pipes and everything, all the connectors I just bought him. He kept losing them. And I'm like, okay, I get that it's 50-50 because like he's good at some things, but he's useless at other things. So everybody has the ability to feel and it is your gut instinct. But what I love about guidance is you get to ask a question back. So it's a two way communication, whereas most people think guidance is just it. You know, you just sit there and wait for it to come. No, you are proactive and you are asking the right questions. And I teach you how to ask the right questions and interpret what's coming back to you. Yeah, it's really important, um, you know, that you use I guess your internal compass um, mm. to to understand what the messages are that you're that you're actually receiving because you know sometimes you know we don't get it right all the time so we're getting this guidance you know coming to us but we either not listening or the message is being misconstrued along the way somehow how can we make sure that we are getting the right the message and that we are interpreting it in the correct way. Interpreting the message is practice and I am a channel for the dragons and they have given me so much information about this particular topic. Dragons are just spiritual guides so you can say they direct you towards your soul because it's your soul often that gives you the gut instinct or so don't be frightened about that I can channel dragons. Some people are angels, some people are anything else but dragons are very 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 direct and they've given me a whole way of just being able to just play with it just use it just do it you know and you can't go wrong but you have to understand where you trust your information so the very first thing I would always teach someone is that they get so 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 sure of what their yes and no is and they just keep using that on a daily basis so that there's no way that you would deny it and you you can it's not guidance that you sit there like this you know you've got to sit like waiting and get yourself into headspace eventually you're able to do it Oh, I don't know. Should I go left or right? So it's, you know, like you follow your nose. You you just you just know that you end up in the right place and you know that you end up in front of the right people. So there's a there's a buildup of trust and so many humans <laughs> um, lack that. We second guess ourselves. We doubt ourselves. We worry. Um, and that kind of what the dragons have told me is humans have like this brick wall that they the soul they can't get through to no higher guidance can get through to because we're just thinking and worrying and narrating and complaining and worrying (laughs) and planning and articulating and strategizing all the time so the main thing I would always say is just really get very confident with one thing so just get to know your yes and no and then if you're asking what is it that my clients want from me 
um, which it would be, you know, you would get a title back for your book or a title back for your program or a title back from um, something else that you're writing, a, a challenge or something. You can ask an open question and you will get an answer that would just, you and you'll be driving and it'll just pop into your head. But when you're doing something mundane, you know, something when you're not, when you're not thinking, when you're walking in the woods, an answer will come to you when you're driving. I talk out loud to myself when I'm driving and I often get my best guidance one when I'm talking out loud two when I'm driving because I'm just oh my god what is this all about what am I here for I'll get I'll get an answer um so that's what you can do you know in the long run when you really trust the information that comes through and it makes you laugh and I call it practical magic because when the information comes through it's like oh my god that's amazing thank you so much I've been looking for this title um, and one of the most funny things I was asking was please show me where my publisher is for this book. They asked me, they gave me guidance to write my book, write my book, write my book. And I'm like, <laughs> I've tried all these publishers. I've got no one. Every time I speak to them, it's just like, no, this is not the one. I'm like, okay, come on, I'm really impatient. And I, I changed the question. So the questions are really, really important. And I said, please, do, you know, is there someone, do I know someone who knows a good publisher for me? immediately I got the picture of someone I got their name and I went is that it and I just again I got the yes and I was like okay well I'll contact her then so I contacted her she said I know someone perfect for you contacted her had an interview with her and I went oh this feels so easy so good and it's affordable and all the rest of it and I, I started working with her as my publisher there's nothing that you can't ask yeah that's it it's very true. I mean, and sometimes we as humans forget to ask the, the, the right questions in the right way. Now, Fiona, you've had over 20 years of experience doing what you're doing and you've, you know, dedicated yourself to helping women reconnect with their bodies and natural power circuits. You know, how, um, what, what can people expect from you when, when they work with you? Complete freaky stuff. <laughs> they can expect that they can ask the questions that they haven't asked to anyone else. They can, you know, because you are in communication with your, you're in communication with your soul, with your higher self, with higher beings, non-physical beings. So what can they expect? They can expect to start getting answers. They can expect to start getting guidance. So um, most people, because we're on social media, we're, we're living in a world of everything's working out fine. Everything's so good, you know. And we're not really admitting to ourselves where we need the help. We just keep pushing forward and producing more stuff and more content, but we're not necessarily, what is it that I want? Oh, I want to up level. I want to fill a group. I want to have a higher caliber, you know, um, coaching client. I want to up level myself. So, right, what do I need for that? Do I keep doing the same thing? But I can't imagine, can't imagine because I've not met them yet. So that's when the guidance comes in. So that's when I will help you sort of like work out exactly what it is that you want, but also why you want it. So it's not just that you want it because you want 10K months or whatever, or 20, 100 people and, you know, 20,000 people in, in your group. It's like, what's what's behind that? So the people that I love to work with, they have a bigger purpose. Um, and <laughs> it was actually in the group that we met in, Rose, that... Um, I was talking to the group owner and I just said, oh, my God, I've just got the guidance to do readings in your group, like for, for the people's business. And I said, but I don't do that. And um, so you get guidance sometimes when you're talking to someone and you have to trust it. You have to go with it, take action on it before your self-doubting mind comes in. Said, she said, yeah, go for it. And I'm like, I don't do that. And I'm like, I don't do that. And the message came back to me and said, it's not you that does it. Stand down, stand out of the way. Just clear your head you be the channel and, and I'm like I'm not a channel like well no not yet <laughs> this is like this is the training that you get sometimes that you're just needing to go down a different avenue and then what I was doing is like working out what the their people's biggest purpose was and giving and feeding that back to them and they were like oh my god I never knew that you someone could see that so um the questions I would ask would be you know, one of the questions would be, what does your business want to say to you? And your business would come back and 
tell you what she it wants because it's got a purpose and it's part of you therefore you can access that too can you imagine being able to listen to your business and it kind of going yeah we kind of want to go down this way now um, and go down that route we need you to up level we need you to do this um we need you to write your book we need you to get on this podcast we need you yeah could you imagine being able to hear that yeah it'd be wonderful wouldn't it if we, we well were, exactly we hear what what you know our guides and guardians were saying to us I think um, yeah we would be guided in in a, in a totally different direction to what our brain is telling us yeah your brain overthinks your brain gets in the way your brain stops the guidance coming through because it thinks it knows best. I mean, one of the work that one of the pieces of work that I do. So, um, so like imagine your brain's thinking something and leading you down a certain track. Well, I want this, you know, this is what I, and you want to control it. And your soul's kind of, or your business is kind of saying, yeah, but this, this is where you really reach people. This is where you really move them and make an impact in their life. And your brain's going, Arr. so they, you start having a conversation between it's almost like a, a married couple that between the masculine and the feminine, let's just say it that way. So you start having this conversation with them and eventually they sort of like come together and like, but I've always done it this way. Well, yes, but you could do it the other way and we would get better results. Well, we've never had a better results. We've never, we've never been able to do this kind of thing before. This has never happened. Well, can you remember when I gave you the guidance to do that? Well, yeah, that was a freak. That was a freak show. You know, that was, that was just a one-off. Well, no, but if you let me do the ideas and the innovation and you know where we're going to make, make more impact well I don't know it just it just seems so weird to me you know the man the, the masculine mind would say and eventually they come together and they negotiate and they become one so that the brain kind of goes well if it's to do with that well okay fine I'll hand that over to you and the, the mind's going quite it's to do with figures and strategizing and everything I'll, I'll leave that to you because you're better at planning so you see it's like you're know, like a the married couple comes together and all of a sudden the mind is then beginning to be open and trustful of the intuition. You can't just bring intuition in like, bam, I'm going to run everything from the intuition. The soul can run the show, you know, because the human just kind of goes, oh, no way. That is just not going to work for me because the mind is used to, don't forget the reptile brain, always in fear, keeping you safe, is just going to go, no way. So you need to be able to have these ways of communicating with yourself which seems really weird to let this higher better more intelligent gut instinct intuition guidance come through yeah absolutely fair tell us a little bit about your book what's the title where can people find it and what can they find in it <laughs> it is in the process of being published now so but it is called dragon practical magic it is all about how guidance came through to me when I, for example, needed to sell my house that I'd moved and been guided to come and live in in the southwest of France, it was, um, how do I do that? How do I sell this house? How do I, you know, please help me? And I was communicating with the house. Is there anything that you need done to help you sell? And it would show me. So the book is all about how you can communicate with anything, your head business, your house, your car, um, you know, and read the signs, like if you've got a blocked toilet or if they get things like that, or, you know, how can I swap this relationship around? How can I get a better outcome with this relationship or anything? Um, so that's what the book's all about, about. It's about all these crazy things that were happening, normal things that are happening, buying, selling houses. But, you know, when I use my guidance, how it just, you know, I sold the house in three days when I asked the house what it wanted. And it started giving me the, the signs, <laughs> even make a sign, put the sign out on the road and uh, write this on it because I got the image. I argued because my, my whole nature is like, that's never going to work. So I argued and I said, nobody drives up this road. Well, do, will you just do it? So, yes, I just did it. And in three days, um, someone had driven past, seen the sign, rung me, come and seen the house. We negotiated over a cup of tea and they bought it for the exact price that I had in my mind. That I needed to sell the house for and then I did the same thing for for buying a house so this is what the book's about it's about how to use your guidance and live the guided life so you can at any time ask a question even starting yes or no is this right for me is this no is this right for me is this yes and um so that's going to be available I do have the dragon cards which were the messages that the dragons 
gave to me initially when I had an interview with them about how do we live this life? Like, how do we how do we start using guidance? How do we change to open up to guidance and awaken to all this? So those cards are called Awaken with the Dragons and they are on Amazon. And they are really um, a whole process of how do we open up? How do we change to the guidance that's available for us? Um, and I run courses to help people ask the right questions and interpret the responses Wonderful. that come back. Wonderful. Now you can find Fiona on, she's on Facebook, she's on LinkedIn. Her website is fionarobertson.co. She's on YouTube. But you've also got a special product, which is Manifest with the Dragons, the, um, the Way of the Dragons. Can you explain what that is? Manifest with the Dragons and the Dragon's Guidance is taking you through a process of understanding your, it's really for business owners, so it really is understanding what it is that you um, are here for. What's your biggest purpose? So I always do a full-blown reading as to what your business wants from you at the beginning. We then go through the process of what is it that you want? So it's very creative and about your manifesting. And as you do that, you are open to receiving the guidance because as we go through for what we really want, you know, like in the past, you may have thought, I want to upgrade. I want to get this done. But then you'd, you'd think about it, you'd put it out there, you'd get an idea and you'd test it and not very many people would come back because you weren't delivering it in the right way to the right audience. You hadn't asked the right questions. So it didn't really land very well, but um, it's still where you want to be going and it's still the guidance that you're getting, but you just don't know how to make it land better. So the process of working with this course is really, where are the details? What's your intention behind what you're doing? Who is it that you're working with? But it's all, it's all uh, uh, coming with guidance. It's all... Um, landing in a very different way rather than overthinking it and stressing about it so I teach very much about how to attune yourself to the guidance so that it can come in and then at the end we have um so it's 12 weeks and at the end we have an interview with a dragon called obsidian and he is representing businesses that have a bigger purpose and he is very let's just say firm very direct, and he asks very poignant questions as to why are you doing what you're doing? What's your purpose? Where's your value? So he really gets down to the roots of things so that you start to own it and embody the version of you that's going to bring about this business that you're bringing into the world. Most of us, there's a band of women. They are change makers, risk takers, leaders on the edge, you know, pioneers, um, and they're very good at what they're doing. But when it comes to business, it becomes a little bit sticky. So this is where having guidance and manifesting, I call it with the dragons and getting the guidance, really helps you break the break, break through or break the spell of what you've come to expect or what you've settled for. Do you understand what I mean when I say that? So, yeah. so many people kind of go, Oh, maybe that was too big. Maybe that my dream was too big. Maybe that, you know, maybe I can't do that. Um, so it really gets that version of you out of the way. Sounds very interesting and well worth the um well worth having a look at. So you can find that on uh, Fiona's website, which is fionarobertson.co, and it's under her products tab. Um, Fiona, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for sharing with us today about how we can, you know, have a better life and a better business through being guided uh, and, and learning to listen to, you know, to what's being said and to ask the right questions. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. It's all about the quality of the questions. It <laughs> thank, is, you, thank you so much for asking me the quality questions so that I could get out there exactly what is possible for so many more people. Lovely. It's been a pleasure seeing you again. Please take care. Thank you very much. You too, love. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Talking With The Experts, hosted by Rose Davidson. Make sure you have a look at our back catalogue over at talkingwiththeexperts.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss out on any episode. We look forward to your company next time.